Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to your extended for this morning's reading. If you haven't seen that already I would go watch it because that will make a lot more sense because this is the second one. So we're just adding to the one from this morning. We're adding what spirit would like us to know. We are looking into our magic. I love this. This is always one of my favorite readings of the week because this is how to tap into the energy of your magic this week. The world card came out. A combination of world card is like a greatest, it's, it's a great leg up. It's, it's such a great compliment from spirit saying that, you know, we can go through the extent of a full journey and pick up all of that great information that's being given to us uh, through our, like, the fool's journey itself. You've been through a very big, big, big cycle this time. And that's no lie. I think the world has been through a very big cycle with everything that's been going on. We've had time to pause, reflect, and really decide where we want to go in our lives. But as Pisces, well, you know, maybe I'm a little biased, but we have really had the time to um, really get a really intense perspective of everything that deals with spirituality, spiritual growth, and finding our way in our journey in this life. So, the soul's journey, okay, is what I'm going to be using, and the enchanted the Enchanted Dreams Tarot. So if you're looking for those, there's a link that's written, find the decks, you go and it's all alphabetically. So this would be Enchanted E, Soul's Journey S, they can be found there, and affiliate links. That helps this channel. Thank you so much. Thank you to everybody who supports me. As always, you are fantastic. The people who return every day. Amazing. Regret. I know that I cannot change the past. Oh, this is so, this is so great. Well, I mean, it's not great, but I mean, it's, regret is not great. But regret, staying in that kind of thing, that, that kind of feeling of regretting stuff from the past. We had the Five of Cups, okay, come in, which you're not seeing um, in this morning's reading. So this regret card really feels... Uh, like it's, the meaning of it is very deep, of, of the fact that you guys are just, let's say some of you are probably feeling, I wish I could have done things differently. Um, the world card coming out is telling you that you were and did exactly what you were meant to do. Everything that happens to us happens for a reason. Regretting a past event is like, um, I'm hearing my mother saying, poo-pooing on the lesson <laughs> that was meant for you. She used to say that. Um, what a word, poo-pooing. Um, it's like putting, it's, it's like spitting in the beautiful message of the education, the the wisdom that came in. And if you're not aware of, since this morning I've had problems communicating. Actually, if I think about it, all week has been like a, an attempt, it's almost like it's a futile, futile type deal of trying to communicate what you're feeling. It's more an internal thing. Unfortunately, I can't internally communicate with you from my uh, spirituality inside. I have to use words to communicate the spiritual realm and this is causing me a great deal of problems which usually does not happen but I think the point of it, it is is that it just feels like this week could have been a great week to just hold all of your hands and transfer energy rather than speaking but we're gonna do the best we can here. Regret is regret is missing the message I'll just say that. Um, you can't change the past, and the past has taught you so much. It's brought you in wisdom. It's gotten you through this cycle. And everything that has happened in that last cycle, you're going to be able to use in the next one coming in. So regretting the past is, is, um, 
it's misspent energy. Okay, I think that came out okay. There you go. <laughs> oh, please, my guides, help me out here. It's been so difficult the last couple of days. Please open up my mouth. I have shared the message that maybe energy is better than words this week. So please help me now with my words. Mona, Liam, I'm going to take another one of this. These, this, these, see, no, maybe not. Fear, oh, they're bringing out all the big, all the bobos. All the bobos. I realize that I'm testing my resolve to live in the energy of love. Absolutely. Absolutely. And it's a surprise I was thinking very much of the Nine of Swords with regret. These are things, fear and regret, those are the cups that have fallen here with the Five of, of uh, Cups. They want to talk about that. Okay, They want to talk about the fear and the regret. The stuff that makes you think of the past. So is there another one here? Yes. See, I knew there was three because the three cups are down here. So they made me pull another one and I knew that's what it was. I understand that losing something in an opportunity is an opportunity to appreciate it. So more importantly are these th three things. Regret, fear, and grief. Okay? And it's funny because it's coming out in a magic reading. Your magical powers. So maybe your magical powers this week in the world card is realizing that everything that you've gone through is going to help you in the cycle that you're going into, Pisces. Absolutely. This is what they're trying to say. Okay? What you're not seeing is that right here. Powerful cards right here. The Five of Cups. The Three Cups that are down. Regret, Fear, and Grief. Okay? So realize that. Take that into consideration, Pisces. Let it give you flight. Don't let it hold you down. Take it and turn that energy into wisdom. That's your magic right now. Turn that energy into wisdom. Don't turn it into a hardship. Turn it into something that's going to help you fly. Help you bring in your fruits of your labor, of this labor that you felt. Absolutely. Wow, this is, yeah. This is great. This really works. This this works. <laughs> Let me move things around here. All right. These were great, Pisces. I'm going to leave them here so that you can really look at them. So you have regret, you have fear, and you have grief. Ugh. i move my little transformation. Yeah. This has been a week, as they say um, in French, uh, my wheel is turning square, not round. Instead, it feels like a clunking, clunk, clunk. Um, the readings have all been... Um, I love doing readings, and I, I mean, I would come back to it every day, even if they were hard, but they felt very difficult in nature. They felt hard to pull out. It's like they were very hard to come out. And I think it's just, they're trying to explain to me that the energy that you're feeling right now is so hard to switch up. It's so hard to switch it up. And Pisces, you need to take that into consideration. You need to turn that frown upside down. And that's coming straight out. That frown upside down. Turn that Nine of Wands into the Nine of Pentacles or a Nine of Cups. Turn it into something better. Don't be it all in vain, is what I'm hearing. Don't let all the work that you do be in vain. Pump something out good with it. Take what you've learned, okay, um, in from the current phase that you're ending and, and use it in the phase that you're going into because you're definitely starting a new phase. Definitely starting a new phase. Okay, so here we go. That Nine of Wands came out. Look at that Nine of Wands. But that Nine of Wands is like your chariot. Look at that, those, yeah. Like I said, watch the video this morning. You'll see what that meant. The middle parts, what's within you. Uh, the bottom cards are the message from Spirit. So let's take a look. Let's take a look at what they have to say. That Nine of Wands. Just Gorgeous card. Speaks all kinds of wondrous things. 
Okay, tapping into the moon, your intuition, the cosmos, okay, your chariot, the sun. Okay, going within as eyes are closed. You're going within yourself. So masterful, okay. nine of wands not only that i felt my throat constricting every time i come to do this reading i felt like my throat my throat was constricting and i i'm guessing this is all these things the regret the fear and the grief is what's coming in here is what i feel and yeah knight of swords in reverse so that's what i was talking about the mastermind that that air sign the king of swords however is somebody who is he cuts right to the truth of the matter but he is also somebody who's a little bit um, he's a, he can be a little bit emotionally distant and emotionally distant is somebody who protects themselves from these things which is good I mean it's good because you don't want to live in those kind of energies for any amount of time that's for sure the problem with this is is that when you become emotionally distanced it's also another word for um, hiding and avoiding and you really don't want to become a master at avoiding your emotions because then you're avoiding the lessons and the wisdom that come in. And then you become stuck in your movement and your chariot, your nine of wands. You become the always persevering, even though wounded, warrior. Because when they stand there, it's not because they're letting it in. They're standing there wounded, but per persevering regardless of the wounds. Like... I'm impervious and I'm going to keep going. So just remember that there's a fine line between that. There's a fine line between protection and avoidance. I think that's what they're coming with. Yeah. Because when you are scared of getting hurt or scared of feeling the different emotions, you're also not letting in the wisdom or the lesson of it, okay? Just make sure that you're not doing too much of that. Seven of Cups, Choices. You have the guide. Here's the Hierophant card again. It's been coming out and coming out and coming out and coming out. Let go of what no longer serves you and embrace the stuff that does. When you do that, it's going to open up choices and bring the magic out with the Seven of Cups. It's going to uplift you. It's going to let you take flight. Because you're, you're letting go of the stuff that is restricting you and you're letting in more choices. It's like making room. It's like anything else. When you clean something out, you make room for something you want. Same thing, same premise, okay? Especially in energy form. When you get rid of the, the nasty, you make room for the better. Because if you're so full of stuff that restrict you all the time, and it's taking up so much of your headway and your space, even these emotions all the time, when you don't deal with them, you're keeping them, okay? That's the other thing with this that I'm getting. Is that if you don't deal with them, if you do the King of Swords thing, you still have them. Okay? Just because you're strong, just because you're emotionally disconnected from the events that happen to you, doesn't mean that you don't hold on to them. It just means that you are disconnecting yourself from it. That's another word for avoidance. Okay? So it's still renting room in your head because you remember these things happening and you're not moving on from them. You're not letting them in, you're not dealing with them, you're not getting the wisdom, and then moving on. Because moving on means to forgive and forget. And it's not forget 
so that you can forget that certain people have hurt you. It's forget because the lesson has been, you know, received. The wisdom has been received. Less, less the lesson, more the wisdom. The wisdom has been received, so you are willing to let it go. And when you willingly let it go, you, your, your mind gives you room for other things. This is that. Okay, this is this is going in very deep in this section here. <clears throat> do you want to bring that stuff to in the next cycle? Do you want to bring the wisdom or do you want to bring the memory of the pain? That's perfect. Eight of Cups. Let it go. Leave it behind. No longer serving you any purpose of any kind. Leave it behind. Okay? And like I said in this morning, I love that. You're reaching for something better. Star, a rainbow. You're leaving all of that behind. Six of Swords. Eight of Cups. Six of Swords. They're like buddies. They're my buddies in a tarot. They're like Eight of Cups. Leaving on a jet plane. Six of Swords. Transitioning to a better place. They're like buddies. And that's exactly what you need to be doing. Absolutely. This is showing you how to transition from letting those regrets, those cups that have fallen. And look at this. Okay, I'm not making this up. Eight of cups. Usually they're stacked cups. They're not here. One, two, and three have fallen down. One, two, and three. No, there's no coincidences. There's no coincidences. One, two, and three. Regret, fear, and grief. Deal with them. Let them go. Take the wisdom with you into the new journey. And what's another three? You're going to replace them with the Three of Cups. The Three of Cups. Celebration. Rejoice. This is the good stuff you're replacing it. These three upright cups. They're right here. You're going to put them upright and you're going to fill them with something different, Pisces. Thank you, Spirit, for making sense of my <laughs> stuff again. Oof. I feel the block lifting, Pisces, for you as well. Okay? Alright, so the Three of Cups. What do we have for the Three of Cups? <laughs> okay. Guess where we're going. We are going on a trip with the tower. <laughs> I don't be scared. That's not what it means. The tower is your three here. Okay? This is the stuff that's been bringing down your tower. That's the stuff that's been... Um, those are the lightning strikes. I mean, especially in this card. Look at this. Okay? The tower... The... the the tower moment is also a moment of surprise. It's not always bad, okay? It can be winning the lottery. It could be the house falling down. It could be Eureka, I got it, okay? So when this Eureka is what I'm getting here, comes in with all of these, okay? When you're going, oh gosh, I have been um, inadvertently holding on to this stuff thinking that I had survived it, but still holding on to it. I need to deal with it and let it go. When you let it go, the fool arrives in your chariot. Your trip begins. Okay? And you get to fill these cups with something different, other than this stuff. You get to build your tower on something different. Okay? So, no need to be afraid of the tower. Next up, the Ace of Pentacles, growing. Plant your seed. Plant that new seed, Pisces. <laughs> the Chariot. What did I just say? Whoops, whoops. There it is. Okay. When you plant that seed, it's like the, the key. It's like putting the key in a chariot and just click it. Click, click. You just you put that seed in the ground and you put that key in the engine and you're about to take off. 
you're going on a trip, and on that trip, things, wonderful things are going to happen. Beautiful things are going to grow. Okay? New things. Princess of Pentacles. Going to bring a lot of new growth. Good news. As in, I'm finally leaving on my trip. Okay? Solid beginnings. You're going to be setting goals in the right direction, not living in the past, not living in this, resign, in this resentment. And that's your magic. Okay? If you can figure this out, if you can leave this reading, and I'm hoping you do, and see this and go, oh, you're going to get clarity and growth. The King of Pentacles and the Sun. It's going to be like um, a mind, your mind will be blown, like, oh, wow, I get it. And that's what I really want you to get because when you do magic time magic time for you Pisces you're gonna tap in you're gonna tap into the best parts of you okay so again the king of swords came in that maybe that's what they've been trying to say all week that you need to let go of that mind f you see whatever that you're doing to yourself okay <laughs> strength card. The moon. Right. And it's exactly what I was talking about this morning. It's about switching the strength into your intuition. The moon. The moon is another card that has two very different meanings. One meaning is intuition and the other meaning is deception, um, illusion, and um, your dreams, your your, um, your, your, your beautiful, um, your wisdom, your intuition, your receptive, your spirituality, going deep down in your inner self. That's what the moon is. That's what it means. Okay, so it's less about uh, brute strength. It's more about, it's less of the physical. It's more of the spiritual and that's the part you have to work on. Okay. The Hierophant. There you go. Releasing the mind. Letting the bird go so that it's not trapped anymore. And they're pointing at the heart. The heart is a lot of these things. The heart harbors a lot of the regret, the fear, the grief along with the mind. It is felt through your whole energy system. The more that you can turn these mountains into wings, and this I showed you this morning. Look at those mountains. They, they are mountains. But when you back it up, what does it look like? looks like you have wings. Absolutely. Okay. The more you can set yourself free, that means you meet the challenges. Okay. This is the, um, this is the, the adventure. This is the communication that you need the light okay look at that remember Pisces that you are going to be meeting a lot of wands energy you're gonna turn into fire you're gonna turn very much into the light that shines brightly that night he's up to meet the challenge okay he's ready to say yeah I'm gonna put an end to this and I'm gonna snap right into that new place that I need to go to and when you do that, you will create miracles. So, you have the Devil card here. The Devil is the restrictions. Now we know the restrictions that have been binding you are these three. Fear and Grief. Three of Cups. Okay, again the Three of Cups, fill those cups, change those into these, they keep coming back, it's the same thing over and over again. Prince of Wands is that Knight of Wands, it's that same one, it's the Knight of Wands, okay, and this was a beautiful and glorious card, look at this, there's your magic, there's your strength, there's your sun, there's your rainbow, 
There's everything that you need. You're transitioning from this to this. This is telling me that the cups that you're emptying, they're going to be filled with so much more. Look at the difference between these two. Okay, this one and this one. Such a huge difference in these cups. Magician. <laughs> There's your magic, Pisces. There it is. That's how you get out of there. That's what you are doing for yourself. Absolutely. Okay. This has been like the reading for magic. It's been talking about magic. It's been telling you that you need to really go into this magic. Underneath this deck, what you're not seeing is that this is a renewable energy that you can use for yourself, Pisces. Okay, You can renew yourself doing this. This wisdom that they've imparted with you today on how to use this energy, how to switch it up, how to switch it from this, these three, the regret, the fear, the grief, and fill your cups up with something better. Take that wisdom. Release those that, that harboring resentment that you have been standing on, that nine of wands energy, and just move out of it. Switch that energy. You can do it. I know you can. I believe in you. And when you do this, you will be releasing yourself and setting yourself free to be magic and move forward on your journey. I'm sending you lots of love, light, and blessings as always, Pisces. I hope you got a lot from this reading. It was fantastic. I will see you tomorrow for your last reading of this week before we look at next week. Take care of yourselves.